The game of Dame, also known as draft, has a long history in Ghana and is believed to have originated in ancient Egypt. The game was introduced to Ghana during the colonial period by British soldiers and has since become a popular pastime in the country. The popularity of draft continued to grow in Ghana throughout the 1960s and 1970s, and the game became a common sight in many public places including markets, parks and coffee shops. Today. We are going to look at the intersection between maths and the game of drafts. To begin, let's get familiar with the draft board. In Ghana, the board is a 10 by 10 square made up of 100 smaller squares. 50 of these smaller squares are dark and the other 50 are white. The game is played on the dark squares, so they become the active squares on the board. The back lines are the first rows in front of each player and they are called promotional lines. The corners are the squares at the side of the board. Rows are the horizontal lines with five dark squares. Columns are the vertical lines with also five dark squares. Gameplay and movement. The game is played by each player positioning their pieces within the dark squares in the first four rows in front of them. A player moves by sliding a piece diagonally to an immediate empty dark square in front of it. Capturing is done by jumping over an opponent's piece, two squares backwards or forwards, to an unoccupied square immediately beyond it. Capturing is always false, so when a player can capture, he or she must capture. If a piece can capture again from the square where it lands, it must continue capturing. This way, it can make multiple successive jumps and thus capture multiple pieces in one turn. It is not allowed to jump over the same piece more than once. If multiple paths are available, a player is free to choose which path they want. If a piece ends its turn on a square at the other edge of the board, thus on the back line of the opponent, it is crowned and promoted into a king, popularly called Akroma in Ghana, which means hawk. A hawk has the advantage of moving diagonally on as many squares as it wants, both forwards and backwards. It can also land as many squares as it wants behind a piece it captures, which creates a lot of extra possibilities. A player wins the game when the opponent no longer has any valid moves. This can be either because all of the player's pieces have been captured, or because they are all blocked and thus have no more squares available to move. You lose if left with a single piece. <laughs> mathematical concepts counting one of the most basic mathematical concepts used in the game of draft is counting players need to count the number of pieces they have on the board as well as the number of pieces their opponent has in order to determine their strategy. Geometry The draft board is a grid of squares and players need to understand the basic geometry of the board in order to make moves. For example, players need to know that they can only move diagonally and that certain squares are off limits such as the Y squares in the back row. The movements of the pieces in draft follow diagonal lines on the board which can be described using geometric concepts such as angles, lines, and triangles. Understanding these concepts can help you make better moves and plan your strategies more effectively. 
symmetry. The bird in draft is symmetric, meaning that it has mirror image symmetry along its vertical and horizontal axis. This symmetry can be used to your advantage when making moves and planning strategies. Combinatorics Combinatorics is the branch of mathematics that deals with counting the number of possible outcomes in a given situation and can be applied to strategic planning in the game of drafts. There are a finite number of possible moves in drafts, and each move can lead to a different set of outcomes. By practicing these mathematical concepts while playing drafts, you can not only improve your skills at the game, but also develop your mathematical abilities in a fun and engaging way.